Okay, I'm here at St Pancras this morning, I'm about to take an East Midlands train. And currently those are diesel trains, despite St Pancras uh, is wired. And, but soon, those trains will be bi-mode, so when they get to St Pancras, they will be under the wires. But those wires now stop just south of Leicester, in a place called Wigston, and you might not have heard of Wigston if you're not from the Leicester area, but that's because the project was due to go to Derby, Nottingham, Sheffield. And last week the Transport Secretary Heidi Alexander announced why she cancelled the project. So she said she cancelled it because it wasn't affordable, but that cancellation had enabled her to make a record payment to Transport for London. And I don't really like competing regions, London with elsewhere in the country. I think individual projects should stand on their own merit, but it certainly seemed tone deaf with the current feeling in the country. Also, you know, why do we electrify? We electrify because we want to make better journeys for passengers and freight. We want more seats, we want more capacity, we want trains to go faster, we want them to be more reliable. And all of that um, is why we electrify. It helps towns and cities connect to each other. And that's a big part of the UK's productivity issue. And we have poor connectivity and that ends up making a poor economy. So the reason we were planning on electrifying to Derby, Nottingham, East Sheffield, was to solve some of those issues. And um, the project in itself had a really good benefit to cost ratio, a really unusually high one for government infrastructure projects and BCR is how governments normally judge, you know, whether a project should go ahead or not in the UK. So I think for the foreseeable future, unless the government changed their mind, um, certainly for those cities, Nottingham, Derby, Sheffield and all the places around them are just going to have a crap service. So thank you very much, Mighty.